you dream of anyone in particular? Yes. Fine. Who was it? Oh, I can't. Now, Miss Cooper, don't think of me as anyone. Just think of me as your doctor. You must have every confidence in me. Oh, I have. Then tell me all about it. I can't. Very well. Thank you very much. That's all. Well, Doctor, when do you want to see me again? There's no point in my seeing you again. Oh, but you must. Uh, I mean... Well, she... I'll, uh, I'll recommend several other doctors to you, and uh, no doubt you'll find one in whom you'll have more confidence. But I don't want another doctor. Miss Cooper, I was persuaded by Steve to talk to you. And from what I see, there's nothing very wrong with you. Oh. Are you sure? Compared to complex cases which really need me, no. Oh, what, uh, well then, I guess I'd better tell you my dream. I've had it for 11 straight years. Tell me about it. Uh, well, the, you've heard of Little Red Riding Hood and the wolf. Yes, I have. Uh, well, that's what I dreamed about. You dreamed you were Little Red Riding Hood? No, I was the wolf. What did you do? I snarled. And then I, uh, uh, so all of a sudden I became a uh, Little Red Riding Hood. And then suddenly I was a lot of numbers. Numbers? Yes, I, I was a radio dial. Well, that's understandable. It's part of your profession, isn't it, singing on the radio? Yes. Yes, but you haven't heard it all yet. It seemed that all night long there were thousands of people that kept turning me off and turning me on and turning me off and turning me on. Half the time I was singing and the other half I was, I was advertising. Then, then, then there were voices. Voices. There were thousands of voices. And, and, and then they started to chase me, to persecute me. Who? My persecutors. Persecution complex. Yes. Yeah, uh, and then, uh, then I, I, I was running away from them, and I was gaining miles ahead of them, when, when all of a sudden I, I, I turned into a maple tree, and um, then I, I took a shortcut across the stream, and a huge fish raised itself out of the water and snapped at me. It was a dogfish. Then I, I looked behind me. And thousands, thousands of squirrels had jumped the river and like a pack of hungry wolves were, were rushing at me. Oh, I was frantic. Yes. They were coming closer. Yes. They were on me from every side. Yes. From the front. Yes. From the back. Yes. On all sides of me. The teeth snapping at me. I couldn't escape. What happened? They got me. 